Hey everybody, one of the questions I've been asked, in fact I've been asked this a couple of times now, is how can I add my own music to Spotify so that I can play it on my iPhone or my watch or any other device I may have? Well, it's actually a pretty simple thing to do, but I do believe it requires you to have a premium account. Not completely sure on that because I do have a premium Spotify account. If it doesn't work on non-premium for that, I apologize, but at least I know that this is one method of getting it to work. So. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to launch Spotify on my Windows PC via the Spotify app. You can download that from the Microsoft Store. And we're going to come up to the top, click our profile icon. We're going to choose settings. And then somewhere around the middle here, you'll see show songs from. Now here you can just choose the downloads or your music library. I've got my MP3s stored on a different hard drive, so I'm gonna click add a source. Now I'm gonna add in some music that I have purchased legitimately on CD, remember that technology years ago, and I converted them to MP3s, so, and Spotify for some reason just hasn't licensed them, I guess. So they're not available in their extensive library. I've also got some MP3s that I may have exported from YouTube where somebody has created a really funky mix and I really liked it, so I downloaded it. But of course, Spotify doesn't have it. So let's just browse for our folder. And when you locate it, just simply click OK. And there you can see our new folder has been added. You can add multiple if you like. I only need the one. Over here on the left, we now see we've got a folder here saying local files. Let's click that. And in here, you're gonna see a bunch of MP3s, whatever was in that folder. And we can play them here and they'll play locally on my Spotify app on my Windows desktop, but they won't yet play on any of my mobile devices. There's another step I need, and that's to create a playlist. So I'm gonna give this a name, a very original one. I'm gonna call it Tim's Tracks. Of course, I never created any of these tracks. I do not have a musical bone in my body. We'll click Save. That's done. Now we'll go over to our local files folder here. I'm just gonna hit Control and the letter A to select everything. I'm gonna drag and drop that over to the new playlist. There they all are. Now, again, these will all play here locally on my Windows machine, but I still need to move over to my iPhone and then have these download to that. Otherwise, my phone simply won't have any access to these tracks, you see, because these tracks exist on my Windows computer. It's not like Spotify is going to grab them all and suck them up into their cloud and so I can then retrieve them from my phone. It doesn't quite work that way. So on my phone, I'm gonna go to my library. You'll see Tim's tracks appears right there. I'm gonna tap at that. Now, you'll notice that all of these tracks are all grayed out. So if I tap any of them, they just don't simply play. So what I need to do is hit this little downward arrow icon, which is going to download these files. You can see that's happening now. The track names all turn white once they've downloaded. And at that point, I'll be able to hit one of these and it plays. Now, once you've downloaded that, you'll notice that each of these tracks has a little green icon pointing downwards, and that just gives you a visual clue that this file here has been downloaded to your device. So now I should be able to head off to the gym. Don't worry about these files that are existing on my computer. They've been downloaded now to my phone via that Spotify app, and I can go and enjoy them anywhere. So I hope that's helped you enjoy your music wherever you are. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like the video and... You have a wonderful day.